What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to install the Corvette servo into the 4L60E transmission. Okay, the first thing to remove this little heat shield right next to the uh, transmission fluid pan here. And this is on the passenger side of the truck. There's two bolts. Um, you can see them right there, just 10 millimeters. Okay, so I got that heat shield off, and you can see where the servo is. It's just right here. Um, so I believe you have to push this in, and then there's a snap ring on the outside that you have to take off. So let's see if that will come out. Looks like we probably got it there. So I thought this thing was kind of supposed to be springy. I think it did go in a little bit when I was pushing on it earlier, but um, I thought it was supposed to kind of come out when you let the pressure off it. I know there's an O-ring in there that you have to get to. You just have to cut it out. All right, so I got some vice grips on this thing so I could kind of uh, move it around and try to pull it out. Sorry, this camera works probably terrible, but there's not much space in here. So after working it just, you know, a little bit, there we go, so I'm just kind of, well, hopefully you can Let's see if I can get the light a little bit closer. So you can see that blue O-ring right there. So the next step is to pull that down and cut it and then just pull it out and then we should be able to get the whole unit out. Okay, so I finally got that stupid thing cut. You might be able to see the little gap in that O-ring. So now I just need to grab one of those ends with the needle nose pliers and pull it out. Okay, so I got one end out a little bit. Yeah, just grab it with your pliers and slide it out. It comes out pretty easy once, once you can get a hold of it. Ooh. There we go. And now this thing should come out. Yeah. And watch for the ATF fluid. Okay, so I finally got this thing out. This thing sits in the transmission like this. This is the outer housing. And then there's this first, I don't know what these are called, but this, this piece you're gonna reuse. Make sure you put it back in the same way. One end on this sticks out a little bit farther than the other and the part that sticks out um, is going to be it's just going to lay in there like that so we're going to reuse that and then this piece this piece will be changed and just remember that these little flanges go on the outside and then on this piece there's this spring here we're going to have to take this off there's a little snap ring holding it in so we'll get that off and this shaft comes out take this part out so i got this snap ring off for the spring and stuff i don't know if you can see it there's a little groove that this just slides into that holds this stuff on i just i mean i just barely held this down with my finger and then just got a screwdriver and pulled it out and it came out pretty easy then yeah that spring comes off and then you need to pull this shaft out i'll try tapping it with a hammer here oh. and now we need to get this cover off there's another snap ring right here so if you have like a big c clamp or something that would probably work i'll figure out something with that and try to get that snap ring out So I got that off. I believe this will be replaced. These are the new parts right here. So this kit here, I got it off of Amazon and it was like $13 if you just order it and get the free shipping or whatever, you know, it's pretty cheap. I've heard a lot of people say that this is the best upgrade that you can do for the money. We'll see if that's true, I guess. But let's see if we can start getting this thing back together. So this piece is going to replace this piece. That means we need to put this spring back in here and then put that snap ring back on top. So 
so we got that snap ring back in there i am going to need to put a gasket right here this came with the kit i believe it's this one this gasket anyways it is cut like that um, it is supposed to be like that and then it looks like this littler gasket is supposed to go on the, the outside of it put that on okay so now yeah we put this shaft back in and it goes so the point is gonna well let's see whoops yeah it goes like this there we go yeah once it gets lined up correctly then it goes in a little smoother but i am actually going to put a little bit of assembly lube on this just so that when it goes in there it's not completely dry then we need to put this spring back on yeah that clip went on pretty easy so okay so then we put this piece on just slides on just try not to get that uh, gasket all fouled up in there okay there we go so got that piece on so this red gasket will go on this piece I'm gonna lube this up a little bit too okay and then the last piece is just this part that we're reu reusing we'll just go on here all right so there we have it that's how it will go in it'll just slide back in the way it came out and then you're going to put this blue gasket that's the same one that you cut off when you were taking it out it will go on here Ugh, maybe and then you just put that back in compress it and then put that snap ring back on and you should be good to go I guess you got the heat shield too, but that's how it will go back together. I probably won't show it because I can't get very good footage underneath there anyways. I will do another video of me driving around a little before and after driving just to do some comparison and do a quick review of the servo. I'll put a link to that. As always, remember to subscribe to my channel for more car videos. Thanks.